Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over a tutorial of how you can use browser views. This is, an MP this is a Python package that allows you to turn your large language models and your agents into web browsing capable agents. So think of just navigating sites to find information. You could even ask it to return JSON to do scraping on any sites. And the nice part about this is that this is a company, they've raised a lot of money, but they've also made it open source. So they raised 17 million yesterday, but even so, they did that. You can go on GitHub and have access to their complete source code. And you can use this locally on your own. So essentially what it is, it is a wrapper over large language models and something called Playwright. Playwright is actually a testing library made by Microsoft to run automated end-to-end -end tests. However, what it's really good at is navigating a browser for you. So imagine that you can pair a large language model to Playwright, and you now have the ability to autonomously serve the web. This is essentially browser use in an instance. If we jump over to my code editor here, just one thing I would like you to note is that I decided to use uh, Gemini 2.0 instead of the GPT 4.0 uh, example in their quick start. This is because 2.0 is really cheap, so I highly encourage you to use this. So let's go ahead and actually install this thing and try to see how it works. So we'll go over to the browser to their quick start documentation. We will be using the UV uh, virtual environment and package manager for Python. So UV is really a great little package manager. I'll, so we'll be creating uh, here a virtual environment with it. Then we'll go ahead and we will activate it. This is already done. I'm just repeating these steps for the actual video, but so that you can see. So the second step is to source our virtual environment file. This will go ahead and activate it. This means that your Python dependencies are now installed locally to that package. If you install something like browser use or LangChain, you're not messing up your system-wide Python packages. This is something you really need to do when you're working with Python because there's a lot of different versions, different architecture, so it's not always compatible. So UV uh, in the docs is a great signal of quality, high quality software. The next thing we will do, I will copy over here this UV pip install browser use. This will go ahead and install browser use in my virtual environment. And I want to do something just a bit different. Going over to my editor here, I am missing this LangChain Google Gen AI package, which is not in the um, We'll do again here, uv pip install, I'll paste the link chain Google Gen AI. Let's install this. And now let's go over and look at the file. So the file itself is gonna be using async IO. This is an asynchronous um, runtime simply because it takes a while to run, so you don't wanna be blocking your program. Next thing to look at is that we are instantiating here a large language model, more specifically, Gemini 2.0 Pro. And our main program is simply calling here the agent constructor. The agent constructor will take two things. It will take a task. In our case, this is the basic task of the example. Um, could we do something different? Find the price of Bitcoin. Making something up on the spot to test it and see if it works. And the second thing to the argument is the LLM to use. After this, we will be calling the run uh, command on that agent, capturing the result, and we will print it. And we simply continue by just starting our async program. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So we will go here, we have our LLM. I will go ahead and say Python, what is the name of this file, agent.py. Let's see it in action. Let's see if it works on the first try. All right. One step that I'm not showing is that I installed Playwright before. So there is a command. I'll, I'll put the link in the, in the description, but there is a command for you to do that. So all right, it went on Google. As you can see, it searched for the price of Bitcoin on its own. Then it saw every text on screen. Now it's trying to analyze if it has the information it wants right away. So let's see if that is working. Let's go over to the terminal here to see what's happening. All right, as we saw, it was able to find prices in a few places. It found it 
in USD, found it in Canadian dollars, as I'm based in Canada, this is highly relevant. And then the print really explains everything it did. And you see it's even here listed uh, that the price on different exchanges, different areas. So this is really good. So a couple of use cases I can think for this. If you have an autonomous agent that needs information online to act, this is really great. Uh, if you have a chat interface that you want things to do for you, but not rely on APIs, this is good also. Just because sometimes not every information is available on APIs. Some websites, for example, um, the price of groceries, they block access to this so that they force you to come in or they force you to go on their website and, and to track and then the analysis, um, their analytics data about what you're doing, obviously. So this is a great option if you don't want to do that yourself. I highly recommend this package. I'll be leaving all the links in the description below and uh, have a great day, everybody.